Back on the 10th of April, 2021, General Motors did something interesting and no one really paid any attention. They were just like, oh yeah, another General Motors kind of sideshow. This means nothing. Well, it turns out they were wrong. General Motors has just launched a new factory to build a next generation battery cell, which actually might be as good as General Motors claims. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back everyone else. Great to see you guys. Thank you for subscribing to the channel because it definitely has improved the algorithms and I'm sure you're getting more of our videos in your feed, which you probably wouldn't have been before because we're doing now about six videos per day, give or take. But that's a lot more electric vehicle and automotive industry content than you're going to see from anyone else, I believe. So General Motors, what have they done and what are they doing? Well, I've got to say I was skeptical when I first heard this news that General Motors had invested 130 million US dollars into a lithium metal battery company. Lithium metal batteries have metallic lithium as an anode. And these types of batteries are also referred to as lithium metal batteries that stand apart from lithium ion batteries because of their high charge density and their cost per unit. A huge amount of research has gone into new chemistries that provide a much higher improvement in performance. Some of that work has focused on materials like silicon and sulfur that can potentially store far more lithium than existing electrode materials. But other options get rid of electrode materials entirely, and these include lithium air and lithium metal batteries. The thing is, right, all of these batteries have faced issues with stability, with batteries based on the technology having a short lifespan compared to existing lithium-ion batteries. However, back in July of this year, a company announced that they had a lithium metal battery in development that had reached a stability that's competitive with existing lithium-ion batteries, retaining 80% of its initial capacity out to nearly 700 charge and discharge cycles. And then it's been validated and testing outside of the lab. That's what matters. So what's the outcome? What's the improvement? What's the point of these new lithium metal batteries? One, a much higher charge density. While many current lithium ion batteries have power densities in the area of 270 watt hours per kilogram, a pouch cell based on Kuberg's lithium metal technology hit 380 watts per kilo. That's an improvement of 40% in energy density. And the thing is, right, when an independent lab placed the battery on a cycle of one hour fast charges and two hour charging, it found the battery took over 670 cycles for its capacity to drop 80% from original 100%. For comparison, many lithium ion batteries target a 500 cycle lifespan. Now, it was believed that lithium metal batteries wouldn't really hit the market until 2025. GM thinks they might come sooner than that. In fact, they're gearing up to launch lithium metal batteries very soon. GM announced not long ago, in fact, in October, that it is building a new battery facility in Michigan to develop lithium metal and solid state battery cells. This new facility will be called the Wallace Battery Cell Innovation Center after Bill Wallace, who led the team that designed and released GM's advanced automotive battery systems in the Chevrolet Volt 1, Volt 2, Malibu Hybrid, and the Bolt EV before he died of cancer in 2018. General Motors announced the Wallace Battery Cell Innovation Center, an all new facility that will significantly expand the company's battery technology operations and accelerate development and commercialization of longer range, more affordable electric vehicle batteries. GM said the team are developing next generation battery cells, including lithium metal and solid state batteries. And then they said this, which seems pretty crazy. The Wallace Center will build batteries ranging in energy density from 600 to 1200 watt hours per liter, along with crucial battery cell ingredients like cell active materials. Now this new factory, I have to point out, isn't going to be mass producing batteries. It's going to be making prototypes. The Wallace Center will be capable of building large format prototype lithium metal battery cells for vehicle usage beyond the small scale lithium metal cells typically used in handheld devices or research applications. The team at the new facility will work to help deploy production of these new cells at GM and LG's Ultium battery factories. That's GM's long-term plan. And interestingly, General Motors has actually invested in SES cells last year when they 
revealed that they would build a factory in Shanghai mass producing lithium metal batteries. Not only did they invest in SES, but they also invested in a company called POSCO or PSCO. Korean firm POSCO will build a new battery factory in the US. And this new battery factory will produce material for GM's much heralded Ultium energy storage platform. However, GM seemed to be doing a lot more than we realized behind the scenes. They actually hold almost 100 patents, 49 granted and 45 pending on their own in lithium metal technology. And aside from being a partner with SES, they're expected to yield a pre-production version of the new lithium metal battery in early 2023. So what are they doing with POSCO? Well, GM's new factory will process CAM, cathode active material, for GM's new battery factories in Lordstown, Ohio, and Spring Hill, and Tennessee. And they're gonna be focusing also on the cathode material. Now the cathode material, you'd think, right, doesn't really matter, but it does. It's about 40% of the cost of a battery cell. That has a huge impact on the overall cost of an EV. Now remember when GM said something that sounded ridiculous? They said they aim to deliver an EV battery that costs 40% less than the one used in the Chevy Bolt. However, they also made an equally ridiculous claim when they said that they'll have twice the energy density at 60% lower cost. If everything goes according to plan and they can mass manufacture these lithium metal batteries, both of those things could become a reality. Now, in regards to General Motors solid state battery claims, there's not a lot of information out there and I wasn't really able to find out exactly what's going on there. So if you know, let me know in the comments or send me an email. Now personally, I still am a bit skeptical in GM's claims, saying they're gonna reduce the price of their batteries by 60% and double the energy density. I mean, that just seems too good to be true, but you never know, anything's possible. If they pull this off, it would be an absolute game changer. You cannot use that expression strongly enough. Think about that. 60% reduction in cost with twice the energy density. That pretty much means the batteries would be 20% of the cost that they are today. That, my friends, is absolutely ludicrous. But if you look at the cost declines of lithium ion batteries over the past 30 years, anything is possible. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.